Why, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Ponju. Welcome back to another video. And we have another mukbang. It's eating a cheesecake factory feast in the hotel room in Bangkok. Just every girl's dream, mine included. <laughs> With that said and done though, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Look at this cake. <laughs> They die of chocolate. Let's dig in. Don't know how she found a filter to make herself look more red, but here we are. Hello, guys. How are you? How are you? So today I have some. I have some Cheesecake Factory. Look at this fancy Cheesecake Factory bag. <laughs> I think this is the one with the cheesecake in it, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, it's like a insulated bag. Cool. Because yes. We have Godiva chocolate cheesecake for dessert. Which looks divine. And probably some bread. So, alright, I got the um. I'm so hungry. I'm not I hate this so far. I know she's sped up, but she can't even wait for two seconds to get everything out of the bag. Well, number one, get the stuff out of the bag and then record. But th in my mind, this is how this is going. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today, guys, is we have Cheesecake Factory. And it's just, yeah, let me get this out of the bag. Like, that, that is how it's starting to sound. That was also a bunch of electronics, by the way, including my phone and one of them and then some old digital cameras. But <laughs> anyways. Cheesecake Factory in forever. And I thought I would try what it's like in Bangkok. Um, oh my gosh, wow, I'm sure it's so different over there. Just so different, so so special and unique. You know, over here in the stinky Western World Cheesecake Factory. Ew, over there, oh my gosh, I bet it's so different. Because I was watching some TikToks, and they talked about this ghost in a cheesecake factory in Pasadena. Louisiana chicken pasta. Looks really good. It's like bow ties. Let me try a bite. With mushrooms. I don't know what kind of sauce. Maybe a Cajun sauce. Breaded chicken. Peppers. Beauty bite. <laughs> Lightly breaded. It's like a, a Cajun cream sauce. Yum. What's this? I forget. <laughs> that is really delicious, man. Woo! We have... Is there a reason why she's yelling? in a hotel room by herself, filming herself eating. Nitpicky, maybe, but just, ma'am, you're at like a nine? Bring it back down to like a one and a half. I'm, I'm begging you, please. Some Korean buffalo kickers with some kind of white creamy dip. Mmm, smells like a ranch. Let's try this, Korean buffalo cauliflower with the creamy sauce. Okay, if that's buffalo cauliflower style wings, girl, A plus, I love those so much. Never tried those, but I've tried like the pre-made ones, 10 out of 10. Beauty bite. Cheesecake Factory is on the pricier side, but lately it's been good. What do you mean it's been good? That kind of insinuates that you've been there to the one in Bangkok before. So, um, <laughs> don't know if she even noticed what she said, but alrighty then. <laughs> I will say, I was disappointed by the experience I had in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh, for the love of God. All right, so Chantal goes on vacation, right? Oh my gosh, I'm on vacation. I might be doing so many things. The so many things that we're going to be doing is going to be eating Cheesecake Factory while complaining about the experience that she had in Canada at Cheesecake Factory while she's in China. Oh my God, God help us all. <laughs> That's really all I got to say at this point, because what is this trip? Oh, girl, just go home at this point, even though she, she probably doesn't want to because there's a home gym waiting for her that she'll probably never use. But, you know, besides that point, anyways. And that was my first experience with Cheesecake Factory. And I decided to try them again in Kuwait, and the service and the food were phenomenal. I'm going to eat these first because I don't want them to get, like, lose their crunch. <laughs> Everything is still fresh. Yeah, so in Toronto, I was very busy. Not like more than usual. And um, the waiter was like, hi, just letting you know that we don't have any fryers. They're down. I like to fry food. And I was like, Cheesecake Factory is known for having really awesome appetizers and a lot of them are fried, like their egg rolls and stuff. So it was just like, okay. And then the meal I got wasn't really great. The asparagus was hard, cold. I think I had the um, Madeira chicken. Oh, by the way, I just thought of something. Instead of Chantal spending so much money on Cheesecake Factory and food, right? Why doesn't she spend that money donating to a better cause? 
that's Chantal's own logic, right? This is so delicious. So it's basically just deep fried cauliflower in the style you would fry chicken. And it's tossed in a Korean barbecue sauce. Sesame seed. Mm. With like a ranch. So I thought of Cheesecake Factory because I was scrolling TikTok and I saw a story. I follow a lot of like creepy channels. Well, my TikTok story when it comes to Cheesecake Factory this morning while I was death scrolling when I first woke up, I saw this drag queen be like, every single time I go into a Cheesecake Factory, I gotta take one home. <laughs> so that's how my morning went. And now we're here now again talking about Cheesecake Factory. The circle of life. I saw a story that talked about the story of an alleged haunted Cheesecake Factory in Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena, California. Which, apparently, the story goes that the place, the building used to be a bank. So in the basement, apparently there was a little girl when it was a bank who got trapped in a vault in the vault or something and, and died in there. Oh, you know, just super casual conversation. Also, on top of that, the first thing she's thought of after hearing this story was, Oh my god, I want some Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> and apparently, apparently, now, she haunts the basement and the, the workers call it the dungeon and they all admit it's spooky. You know, supplies will go flying. I guess they use it as some kind of storage, maybe? For supplies, is my guess. Yeah. You want me to work in a haunted building for minimum wage? I don't think so. Hey, a job is a job. I want hazard pay. We have a ghost throwing salt and pepper shakers everywhere. No way, man. Look at all the chicken they give you. Oh my gosh. You get your money's worth, that's for sure. Which, remember, you could have donated that money to a better cause instead of, you know, being selfish about it and spending so much on food. I know I don't have a proper mukbang set up. This is not a proper mukbang. Mukbang, aka translates to eating show in Korean, so yes, it 100% is. Sorry. Oh, what's this? It's a hotel depression mukbang. <clears throat> well, that's what this is. <coughs> <coughs> Isn't that super convenient the second that she mentions, like, you know, she's been super sad and everything. Oh, magically, all of a sudden, I don't remember there being any coughing so far, but the moment that she mentioned that she said, oh, <coughs> wow, magic. Ah, oh, they're bread. I understand. Yeah, it smells like honey oat. Is it oat bread? <laughs> At least I remember that. Let's try the cake. The bread tastes like it has molasses. <gasps> look at this cake. <laughs> Ooh, I will say that does look good. And yes, before you ask, I 100% will compare that clip to the clip at the beginning that was all filtered out. You are welcome, side by side. <gasps> look at this cake. <laughs> Godiva chocolate, let's dig in. Godiva chocolate, let's dig in. Let's get a little cream out. Oh my gosh, that brown bread is so good. <laughs> For later. Holy moly. So the second that the camera's off, got it. If that's the case, girl, I don't blame you. You get a lot of food. That's for sure. <laughs> what do you guys get? What's your go-to from Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> okay, you guys. I think I'll end my video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, that is really delicious, tasty pasta. Everything. Honestly, like, 10 out of 10. It's so delicious. Yeah, I would say. So good job, Cheesecake Factory Bangkok. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! All right, well, that was something else, I guess. I don't exactly know what I just watched, but I watched it. With that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.